They'll be using things like this, a breathalyzer to check sobriety on the roadways. Said the biggest question everyone is asking tonight is why. Reporting live in Jefferson City, I'm T. Dewey Pinko, KMUA News. I spent the afternoon at a truck stop in Kingdom City where many of the truck drivers said they just couldn't believe the CDC's new statistics. One of the truck drivers I talked with said that if he takes all of his safety precautions seriously throughout the day, then he doesn't think he should have to worry about dangers on the roadways. I spent the morning in Higby and everyone I talked to had heard of the big fire, but no one knew anything about the cause. None of the officials at the scene would talk to me about it, but said details would be released as soon as possible. An independent firm is testing the ground around the Columbia coal ash pond off of Business Loop 70. We should know the results in November or December as to whether or not this coal ash pond is hazardous or not. Columbia received a grant in 2005 to make the city more bikeable. Since receiving the grant, they've added bike lanes all across the town, like this one on Green Meadows. 3.8 million. That's the number of concussions reported in 2012. That's twice as many as were reported in 2002. That may sound scary, but a St. Louis doctor says people are getting better at identifying concussions and reporting them. Construction workers paint away at new developments going up in downtown Columbia. But that has some Columbia residents asking how. How can they build with a lack of infrastructure? Back almost a year ago when the TIF was being discussed, the city manager said on numerous occasions that there was no room for additional downtown development, that the infrastructure was used up. And since then we've seen, what, four different new projects built with no actual change in infrastructure availability yet at all. Even city council members have questions. There did seem to be a bit of a rush to try to get that TIF district approved which kind of made me want to step back and say, well, what's going on here? The Downtown Leadership Council, or DLC, has spent the past several months advising the City Council on how to fix infrastructure issues. The first item of business was to restore public trust. They had the City Manager's Office issue some sort of mea culpa or apology or clarification at the very least of what they said at the very beginning that we are out of infrastructure and we can't, that no building will occur. Clearly, building has occurred since that without the improvement of infrastructure. I've been trying to get a hold of the city manager's office in Columbia for the past few weeks to get their side of the story. I've been calling and leaving several voicemails, but still haven't heard anything back. So how can the city fix the problem? I think we need to be absolutely transparent. We need to uh, avoid um, you know, rushing things to meet the desires of one particular stakeholder group. Ironwood agrees and says residents need to be better informed. <laughs> Tell the truth. <laughs> Acknowledge the problems exist and solve the infrastructure issues before allowing, allowing new development to go forward. For now, the DLC is working closely with City Council to plan the next steps in infrastructure improvements. Tig Dewey Panko, KOMU 8 News, Columbia.